Hawks have been one of the best performers so far this year. With the NASDAQ index rising 11.7% for the new year period versus 5.4% for the broader S&P 500 index and 1.4% for the PSEI index. Although tech stocks will continue rising in the short term due to expectations that the Fed would build up soon, there are also compelling reasons why tech stocks would probably might not be sustained for the rest of the year. One reason is the possibility that the era of low interest rates is over. If interest rates stay elevated, it will be difficult for tech companies to consistently raise funding to sustain their operations. This as high interest rates are expected to make investors less willing to buy shares of tech companies that go very fast, but take a very long time to become profitable and pay cash dividends. Unfortunately, many tech companies need to continuously raise capital to survive since many of them are not yet generating enough operating capital to sustain their rapid growth. The inability to raise capital will force many tech companies to run out of cash to close shop, despite the rapid growth of their business and their promising long-term output. Another reason is valuation. Even though prices of tech stocks have dropped significantly from their peak, they're still expensive. For example, the Nasdaq is currently trading at 25.5 times PE. This is still not that cheap, as it is almost at par with its 10-year historical average PE of 26.8 times. In fact, 25.5 times is still very high given the significant risk that profits of tech companies will decline this year because of high interest rates and slower economic growth. Moreover, with higher interest rates, it will be difficult for tech companies to command the same premium valuations they enjoyed earlier on during the pandemic. Because of the possibility that tech companies' strong performance might not be sustained, investors should exercise caution when buying tech stocks. You can manage your risk by buying only small amounts, locking in gains as they materialize, and making sure to cut your losses if your sales stocks are too